well, 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 welcome back, folks. You guessed it, we are selling the canola. We got one, two, three, four, five, well, four and a half trucks up here. It, it's five trucks, but one of them's halfway loaded. And uh, let's go to prices, and I'll put my drone back down on the ground. Oh, auto save over. Babe, an old auto save got us. Here's our prices: thirty-six sixty-nine for canola, and we are at ten o three in the morning. Folks, how y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Oh, I'm doing just wonderful. It's freezing cold outside. About six inches, six to eight inches of snow, and it's February the twentieth. And uh, y'all should be seeing this on the the Wednesday. Hopefully, y'all saw the Monday one. But yeah, I'm recording on Saturday, trying to get two or three in. Uh, this week's going to consist of doctor's appointments. So yeah, I'm trying to get ahead myself here. Yeah, it's going to take us a long time to empty out, but our money is going up. I had um, a little bit more than this, but ten thousand and something dollars came out because I ended up filling the fertilized tanker. Uh, I, I changed the volume to, to 26,000 instead of the other. Probably more realistic. But I am going to speed this up real quick and let y'all see the totals. Folks, 55,315 on the last one there. 5,352,015 dollars, folks. 5.3 million. 5.3 million. Man, I'm a millionaire. Not quite yet, folks. The, what's it called? The value, the assets, or whatever it's called, is going to be up there in the millions. Because remember, we got to buy cotton pickers. Yeah, that's right. Cotton pickers and cotton picker uh, bale picker uppers and all that good stuff. But anyway, I'm going to get these back to field 19 and 18. Because that's what we're going to be doing today. Hope you all like this little speedy of doing the trucks here. And uh, yeah, I hope they follow me back real good. Anyway, y'all have a... Oh, wait, no. Y'all hold tight. I'm getting my endings mixed up. <laughs> I'm about to end the video. Now, the videos ain't going to end, folks. It's just beginning. Ooh. A lot of trucks. Come on, y'all. Follow me. All right, folks. I'll see y'all here in a second. All right, folks. Well, we're waiting on the trucks to get back over here. We're going to go ahead and hook up this header. Now, I already got all the equipment up here. Me and uh, John, yeah, uh, old friend of mine, John. John Bun. Well, that's with two ends, I believe. <laughs> anyway, hello, John. Uh, yeah, uh, shout out to him. He doesn't have a YouTube channel. He just watches YouTube. So, um, yeah. I don't know if I'll link it in here or not. Um, I just hope this works this way. If not, we're in trouble. All right, I'm gonna unhook this thing. I'm on. This tends to roll. You see how 
uh, rubber bandy it is. I'm actually going to go ahead and hook the combine up to it. I don't feel like chasing it. We got our wonderful X9 1000 here. We're still using it as a demo. Uh, we actually got uh, 10 hours to use it, I believe. Might be 20 hours. I can't remember. I have to talk to Dave about that. Alright, it's not going to let me hook up while it's hooked to the truck. Okay. Well, we can handle that. I'm just going to jump out, get in the truck real quick. Detach, hop out. We're going to run backwards, hop in the combine, and attach. Ooh, you see it starting to roll backwards? Alright, we're going to fold. And we're going to get over a little bit. That pole is halfway up the driveway. It shouldn't be that way. Alright, we are going to enable straw well. Yes. And we're going to turn this bad boy on. And we're going to uh, get in here and we are going to use course play, folks. And hopefully it will do right. Um, Mr. Do Wrong on course play usually sets in. Make sure we're dropping the straw here. Oh yeah, we're dropping it. Alright, this is field 19. And let's see what we got for field 19. Uh, Mo back wing and outline low, off low to big silo. And temporary pile. Okay, so we're going. We're just going to forget all of them right now. We're just going to go here. And we're going to go to work. Um, no, we're not going to do none of that. We're going to do here. I'm going to go course generation. And we're going to go up to field 19. Uh, headlands, we're going to say 2. Uh, smooth, 13.2. I think that's right. Got to look, but anyway, and we want to start on headland passes, yes, clockwise, yes, that's right. Oh, wow, it's already generated, and that looks pretty good. Good, 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 good. I like it when a plan comes together. Uh, nearest waypoint, let's back up a little bit. We're gonna drive course and see what this bad boy is going to do, real quick. This way, using uh, course play to do your harvesting, folks, it, it really, really helps out. All right, let's see if you're dropping straw. You're dropping straw, good, okay. We are going to get, see the truck's out of the way right there, so. Um, we need to unload our other one here. So let's get this tractor started. We gotta get in it first. Uh, this field ain't that big, so we're gonna leave the little guy over here and just use the uh, big guy for field 19. I think it's a tiny bit bigger. But I already picked what straw was here up, and you see we already have a bail made. Um, so yeah, uh, also we're trying to get, if you are new, we're trying to get field 27, and we are on Madison Creek, by the way, I don't know, did I even do my intro right? Okay, I am getting an encoder overloading, but I think it might be my audio still all right all right that's doing that we're going to look at our steps here real closely 
Now, in real life, the combine has to be running to be unloaded. It just, the hydraulics and stuff runs all the, the parts and stuff, you know. I drove a 8820 Titan II before um, for one season of uh, harvesting. We was harvesting soybeans, so when soybeans was over, that was it. Uh, I had fun. Best time of my life. Wish I could do it again. Okay, I'm just going to do this field here myself. I'll probably uh, do a, well, I need at least do the headland. Then after that, we're going to use uh, AI probably. And the X9 is 95% full already, so, wow. Tell you what, we'll get this unloaded and we'll get the other, com the other tractor. Go ahead and shut that off for a sec. <clears> Throat <throat> getting dry. Okay. I'm gonna let that unload. We'll go over here and get the. Oh, oh, not that tractor. We want this guy here, the, the Brent John Deere tractor here. Oh, I we parked that part close to the fence. Ooh. Come on, back up. It takes a while for these to go in gear. I can pull the trigger and that'd be a good 10 seconds before they take off. Seems like when they, I guess that's real life. Oh, you know, you gotta let them warm up a little bit before you just jump in and take off. All right, I need to check on our trucks too. This. It's rough for one guy. Even if you got hired heifers, it's still kind of rough. Which I could do a uh, grain cart with horseplay, but I don't know how it would work with the uh, crop damage. Yeah, I know you need to be unloaded. I'm coming. Whoa, there's a pile of dirt. Oh, I mean, dirt. Pile of straw there. Ooh, this Wheat's going to be good, too. I got 14,711 liters. But I get up here, you'll see what I mean by a course play. All right, now you're going to see him pulled over to the side. But I don't look like his pipe is out yet. But I like it because he does this right here. Now, this is more realistic than anything. Alright, buddy. Get your pipe out. And I'm going to kind of angle this way because when he goes cut back in, I don't want him taking the front of the tractor off. There he goes. Oh, he's got shooting way on out there. Okay, good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and shut this off. Man, do I want to shut it off? Do I want to shut it off? Um, no, I do not want to shut it off. I'm actually going to back up here in a second and we're going to put follow me on so you follow me around the field there and that way we don't have to drive this thing so far, so right back when he gets through empty. Alright, he should be Yep, you see he's turning his wheels. Am I blocking him? No, oh, leave that fence. I don't want to hit that fence. Let me pull up in here a little bit. Yeah, there he goes. See how short he turns back? Oh, there's a stump there. Oh, dude, what are you doing? 
And there you go, it's cutting back the other way. Oh, don't pipe out again. Don't pipe out again. Uh-oh, I hear a helicopter in real life. At least one thing about it, it gives us a, a room to turn around if we need it to. Oh, no, my radio is keying up. Not for me, it's for... Sounds like Kaiser. I don't know if it would pick that up on the radio or not, or, I mean on the microphone about the helicopter. Alright, we want to hit control F. And yeah, we'll leave it at that. And we're going to do the same thing with this guy. We're just going to back up. And then uh, let him follow this combine around. I'm going to drive it. And that way y'all get to see some combine action. Our trucks are coming along. I got them slowed down some, so follow me will work. The first truck is on course play and all the rest of the trucks are on follow me and uh, we'll get in here oh I just killed the motor <laughs> alright fire everything up and as you can see the bottom left corner down there they're almost to our grain silo so I got them going slow which that's no problem no problem at all stopped uh, for the guy behind me to stop because I'm going to cut this little path out right here oh 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 I'm going to be full no I'm full at least he's got a little drive to pull into right there and somebody asked I, I didn't forget I'm going to try to go back in the comments and if I can put it right here uh, asking if I control both of these. Uh, no, not really. Uh, one will be on a hired worker, and I'll be controlling the other. Uh, kind of like I did the uh, X9 over there. But as far as me, I could control both of them, but it would have to be like course play doing it or something. You know, I couldn't do it personally. I guess I just kind of said two different things there, didn't I? I can't drive that and drive this. It's got to be a hard worker uh, in order to do it. So, yeah, let's see. I'm going to try to get like this right here. Hop out. Now we're going to get this to unload. From this unload, we're going to get the other combine. But, like doing around the edges of this tree line here I'd rather do it myself because if uh, the AI doesn't do it quite right so that, that's why I... oh too far there we go um, oh I can't kill it it's uh, ow get me out This tractor ain't caught up yet. Okay, I'm gonna fire you for a second. I, I, I like firing all the helpers. <laughs> Probably why I don't have no helpers. But yeah, folks, let's talk about the five million for a little bit. This two combines pretty much gonna be two million dollars. Or, or cotton pickers. Did I say combine? two cotton pickers that we're going to buy. We're going to buy them straight out. That's going to be quite a bit of money. Alright, I'm going to park that right here. And... We're going to go ahead 
We're going to... Oh, wait. That's this one. We're going to stop driver. Start this baby back up. That was so close, too. Come on. You can back up. If I don't hit the... Whoa! There's a ditch or something there. That's another thing you got to be careful of is hitting ditches. Um, let's do that right there. Alright, now let's go back to this guy. Hold her auger in. We're going to pull up a little bit. Over about right there. And he's still going. Then we're going to control F on this guy. And then we're going to get back in our combine again. That one tractor needs to be out of there. But my favorite piece of machinery would be the combine. I always loved the combine. Always. Yeah. And the cotton pickers are neat too. Uh, the, the combine is kind of like you can cut out out through there and not even worry about anything. You know, you just you just make your own path. Now, a cotton picker, you have to stay on the rows, and you got, you got rows to go by. Uh, uh, Christy, follow, yeah, Christy's following us. Go, go check everybody out down below in the description, folks. Uh, got some wonderful YouTubers. Uh, pretty much, you subscribe to them and show them some love and stuff, and they'll return that. They are all awesome about that. Uh, for your new ones out there that just come in, I appreciate it. Uh, what I do is when you leave a comment on my video I will go to that comment open up your page and watch one of your videos and I'll leave a comment and it's kind of like you know we'll exchange comments for, for videos like you leave me a comment I'll watch your video and I'll leave your comment and you watch my video it's back and forth like that I think that's where it's more uh, helpful that way, or, or I don't know what I'm trying to say, but ooh, I almost full again. Now you made it round yet. Hmm. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm missing. Leave me a comment, and I'll go and uh, now I don't want you doing like uh, comment on this video and then comment on the next video and comment on the next video. And it'd be like 15 seconds in between. Right now I know that you're not watching my video. I have to see that you're actually watching as far as... I, I can tell, you know, because if you leave two comments back to back and it ain't but, but 10 seconds in between, I think it's... Whoa, Nelly! Anyway, that's something that you don't do. Let's see, I need to stop Christy with shift and F. Yeah, that's one thing we don't need to do is run over our crops. Okay. Right, right there. Don't want to run over too much. Let's go back to our other one. Get an auger close. Head her down. Now what we're going to do here is just kind of get back in our position we was in. 
this is how I play it too, folks. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I just want to show you a few things. But I'll get like this here and try to get back where I was. Which it might be a little bit missed. And then I'm going to drive course. And that should straighten up. I'm going to run back here real quick. Jump in this one. Get going straight as possible. Hit control F. It caught on. And we're going back to our other tractor. Of course, we got to start the engine. But this is how I usually play while I'm not recording. It's just a lot of back and forth. But hey, I'm getting the job done. Now, if I had a lot more time in the day and didn't have a, a career in YouTube, I might just use one combine. One tractor, I don't know. Alright, let's go on, pull on up here. But the first round around the field is always the rough ones. Alright, let's see. Oh, he's leaving some on the ends there, but it'd be alright. That tractor's going to have a hard time catching up. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, I'll probably get tired of tabbing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Control F. He, he got lost. He's like, he turned here, and he turned there, and he turned here. Oh, wait, which way did he go? I'm lost. It's not really that. It's the articulating tractors, the ones that swivel in the middle, like this one. They tend to want to booty shake a lot. And yeah, booty shake, I mean, it, they just back and forth like this, trying to stay straight with the line and stuff, and it gets them thrown off. By the way, we got to put a bridge down here somewhere so we can get across. But with me, I'm going to be like, hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's our boundary line. Or is it cutting? It's cutting it. Okay. We need to buy that fuel there and just add it to this. We really do. Um, slow down just a little. And then Control F. He's locked back on. Ooh, almost full again. Jeez. Alright, this guy is... It's ready to go. That ends about 83%. Can I get around the corner? I need to do some smoothing this time around on on these fields. So before I plow them, we'll have to go do some train edit, and that's going to take a lot of money too. Especially what I want to do around the farm shop. Oh, the X9 is needing to be unloaded. All right, he's just gonna have to wait a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get this up and around. But folks, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, so what I'm gonna do is bring y'all back when I'm just about done like I did last time, so y'all can see what we got left. And our trucks are, ooh, I gotta go catch my trucks too. There they go. All right, I'll bring you up back at the end when we get done. All right, my folks, my YouTubers, my buddies, my pals, old friend of mine. I'm going to go ahead and uh, unload this here, and then I'm going to call it an episode. Um, yeah, please don't run over no crops, sir, over there. It's just doing the jiggle. The wiggle butt, as I call it. Our combine X9 done made a uh, first round. It's going on a second headland. And uh, we better turn some lights and hazards on. The truck's got the roadblock pretty much. Uh, don't attempt this at home, my adult friends. 
Uh, yeah, I'm scared to use the other other word, the, the C word that means younger adults. Anyway, anyway, folks, we are getting the wheat harvest done. Uh, I'm going to bring y'all back. I'm going to do like I did last time. I'm going to load all the trucks. All the trucks are going to our silo. Oh, we are not going to be selling the wheat. It's going to be made for seeds. Yeah. So, uh, I do. Yes, I know the other grain tank's almost full. Oh, my goodness. It won't take him long to get done with this, and if I can just keep him unloaded, and then we'll be over here. So, I will bring y'all back in the next episode when we get almost finished. And while this is unloading, since it takes forever, um, come on, there we go. I want to look at this because uh, I want to plant some soybeans, but I done past soybeans. I'm done past corn. Only thing we can actually plant, my mouse is acting stupid, is canola again. Or wheat, barley, oats. But I think I'm going to lay... See, if I plant canola... Okay, if I plant canola here, we probably could harvest here, but then it don't give us very much timeline for soybeans. And half of this is my fault because I kept on fast forwarding time, time, and time, and it didn't catch up until I saved the game, exited out. A couple of days later, I jumped back on, and it was harvest time. And I'm like, okay. So I think what I'm going to do is to, I'm going to leave all the ground laid out. That'll give me time to, uh, you know, level some of the ground out, get it plowed, fertilized, and ready for a plant. And since it's shown that we can plant sunflowers, sunflowers is a high price crop too, and along with soybeans. So, yeah. We'll probably do that. Uh, we'll, we'll have to switch everything around, folks, and see. We'll just have to see. Oop, time to pull up. Yeah, the X9 is needing to be unloaded, and our tractor's just got right there. So, yeah. I, I, I can put a truck in there and probably do unload with the auger wagons, but I don't know. I, I don't want to run over very much crop so but anyway folks um I, I thank you for your watch time and i thank you for your love and your comments and i thank you for being you and uh yeah i'm just gonna as i fill these trucks up i'm just gonna take them to the our silo or big silo and then uh, you'll see how much wheat we got off this in the next episode so once again, folks, thank you for all your love and support. I can't say enough. And don't forget the links down below in the description. Don't forget hit that, smack that red button. Give me a thumbs up. Whatever you want to do, do it. Don't be shy. And uh, yeah, this is Mr. Blue. Get it, Blue Auto Wagon. Blue Meat. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, folks, y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all on the next episode. Later. I know it's a game. I